Hey guys, this is Miss Smith. I'm going to be doing practice D with you for your word study. All right, with practice D, we are looking at analogies. So your directions say circle the analogy that best matches the bold words. So remember with an analogy, we need to look at our pair we're given to start with, figure out what kind of connection they have, and then figure out which answer choice has that same connection. So number one, we have electricity and circuit. All right, we know that electricity is going to be part of a circuit. So if we look at our choices here, the only one that really makes sense is going to be choice A. Wheels are part of a bicycle. Number two, central and outer. Well, we know that central is talking about the middle of something and outer is talking about the outside. So we're really looking for things that are opposites here. So if we look at our four choices here, the only one that goes along with that same pattern or same connection is going to be B. Energetic is going to be basically the opposite of being tired. Number three, we have cyclone and destroy. Well, we know that a cyclone is something that is going to destroy things. So if we look at these choices that we have here, cyclone destroys if you look at these different ones here, a storm floods. Okay, number four, cycle repeats. Well, we know that a cycle does repeat itself. It happens over and over again. So looking at our four choices, we know that a predator preys on other animals. Number five, circumference and circle. We know that a circumference is the outside of a circle. So if I look at these options here, we know that the perimeter is talking about the outside of a square. Number six, cyclical and recurring. Well, if something is described as cyclical, it is something that is recurring. It's happening over and over again. So we want words that are going to be similar here. So I'm going to choose random and unpredictable because if something is random, you aren't able to predict it. You don't know when it's going to happen or take place. Number seven, circumstance and cause. Well, we know that a circumstance is the cause of something. So looking at these, we need two words that are similar. So I'm going to choose outcome and effect because the outcome of something is the effect of something that took place. Number eight, circumvent and verb. All right, with this one, I know that circumvent is a verb. So I'm looking for a word and then it's part of speech. So the only one here that would make sense is going to be storm and that is a noun. Number nine, eccentric and likeness. All right, well, we know that these are opposites because if something is eccentric, it's not going to be like other things. It's going to be unique. So if I look at my four choices that I'm given, I'm going to go with generous and greed because if someone is generous, that's the opposite of someone who is greedy. And number 10, concentric and center. All right, so if I am looking at these different choices here, the only one that follows the same pattern of concentric things starting at the same center would be siblings and parents because siblings have the same parents.